The Uniteverse mining interface is ready and waiting for your decisions. Main page, entrance to the Uniteverse mine. This page serves as the entrance to the Uniteverse mine, where you can view and access key information. Here, your essential metrics and important statuses reflecting your current progress and state are displayed. Total earnings and balance. On this panel, you can monitor your current balance of energy coins and resources. Energy mining. Using this device, you can mine NTC net charge energy every 24 hours. Collect energy daily to fully charge your batteries in the ore processing device. Charging the battery increases the amount of unrefined ore that can be processed, thereby boosting your overall yield. Access key and tiers. By activating the tier access key, you gain access to the tier to participate in launching quantum waves, followed by ore processing and bitforce mining. Upon activation and access extension, you also receive a chip automatically installed in the quantum wave launch device. After the quantum wave launch, you can process the ore mined in that quantum wave. At the top of the screen, you can monitor the status of the current quantum wave launch. Below is a section with a cross-sectional plan of the mine, indicating the depth of the tiers and displaying your active tier accesses. Enter tiers. To enter, click on any active tier. Here you can manage the processes of resource processing and extraction. Mine page. On this page, you can see the areas to which you have access. These areas contain various machines. Control panel. On this panel, you can track how many of your chips are involved in the launch of the current quantum wave. Additionally, it also displays which tiers you have access to. Tier space. Each tier space contains its unique machines. Here you can see the access time to the current tier, the readiness status of the quantum wave launch machines, as well as an overview of the GameF network. Tier extension, extend your access to a tier, which is initially granted for 30 days, to continue using it. If previous levels are not active, renewal is only available with a penalty. When you extend a tier, a chip is also allocated to a device for launching a quantum wave of the same tier. View the remaining days until your current tier activation expires. Tier access key activation. In this example, we will activate access to tier three. Installing an additional chip in a device of the corresponding tier increases its maximum processing capacity for raw ore. This window displays the number of chips and the access time you will receive. Payment is made in MFS. If you don't have it in your account, you can select the first option, which will automatically purchase MFS from the market at the current rate. When selecting multiple activations or extensions, the first received chip for this tier will be installed in the machine to launch the current quantum wave. The second chip will be used for the quantum wave launch 30 days after the wave is launched with the first chip. The third chip will be activated 30 days after the wave is launched with the second chip, and so on. Quantum space. In the next space, there are two shared machines available in all tiers. The first machine processes or into quantum ore, while the second machine mines Bitforce, or processing machine. Let's take a closer look at how the ore processing machine works. Starting from the beginning, a quantum wave will be initiated when 88 devices are activated. This wave will extract raw ore. The chips involved in launching the wave will determine the potential maximum amount of ore you can process in this device over 30 days. After these 30 days, you will have the opportunity to collect quantum ore. To process the ore, you need to keep your batteries charged. By default, you have one battery, but soon you will have the option to purchase an additional battery. Therefore, if you fully participate in the ore processing, you will obtain the maximum possible amount of quantum ore. However, if you do not participate in the ore processing, you will not receive anything. Charging the battery. Here you can see how much quantum ore you can potentially obtain after processing the ore, as well as how much time is left for processing. To charge the battery, press the upgrade button. Enter the desired amount of energy to charge the battery and click apply. Completed quantum wave. This is what a completed ore processing wave looks like. You can now collect your well-deserved quantum ore. 
Now you're all set to mine in Uniteverse, so why wait? Let the mining adventure begin.